Poems to inspire you. Perseverance. When all the world is looming dark and things seem not so clear, when shadows seem to hover around, Lord, may I persevere. When it seems everything's been tried and there's no way to go, just let me keep remembering sometimes the journey slow. I may just need to stop and rest along the path I trod, a time to try to understand and have my talk with God. As I gain new strength to carry on without a doubt or fear, somehow I know things will be right, and so I persevere. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. James 12. Thinking If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you lose, you're lost. For out of the world we find, success begins with a failure's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But soon or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. As someone thinks within himself, so he is. Whatever is noble, whatever is right, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. With God's help, I can do all things. The strength I have is not my own. It comes through faith in God. In those who often I can see the way, I have the reassurance of His presence in my life to help me meet the challenges of the day. So I rest in His provision, for I know that He is leading, and it really doesn't matter what life brings, for I know that I am in His care, and through the strength He gives me, He has promised me that I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 Love Love bade me welcome, yet my soul drew back, guilty of dust and sin. But quick-eyed love, observing me, grows luck from my first entrance in. Do you nearer to me, sweetly questioning, if I lack anything? A guest, I answered, worthy to be here. Love said, you shall be he. I, the unkind, ungrateful, oh my dear, I cannot look, look on thee. Love took my hand and smiling did reply, who made the eyes but I. Truth, Lord, but I have marred them. Let my shame go where it doth deserve. And know you not, says love, who bore the blame? My dear, then I will serve. You must sit down, says love, and taste my meat. So I did sit and eat. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him, and he with me. Revelation 3.20 for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16
Why? On the street, I saw a small girl, cold and shivering in a thin dress, with little hope of a decent meal. I became angry and said to God, Why did you permit this? Why don't you do something about it? For a while, God said nothing. That night, he replied quite suddenly, I certainly did something about it. I made you. Most Richly Blessed I asked God for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked for help that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of men. I was given weakness that I might feel the need of God. I asked for all things that I might enjoy life. I was given life that I might enjoy all things. I got nothing I asked for but everything I had hoped for. Almost despite myself, my unspoken prayers were answered. I am, among all men, most richly blessed. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that, having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. More than this. There must be more than this. I certainly don't want to miss the person I'm destined to be. I don't believe life just happens to me. I'm not being impatient. I just know I have to do something, even if for now, that means waiting. There must be more than this. I feel a moment of bliss when I think of who I want to be. It's not that I'm not content, I just know I was born for more, absolutely for more than this. There must be more than this when I think life in light of God's grace. I'm so grateful and amazed for who God is to me. And to know and believe God has so much more for me than this. Now all glory to God who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us. Ephesians 3.20